Hello everyone. It's James again. And before I start today's video. I just want to quickly say. All work in this video contains 100% original content of and by myself James Smith, otherwise known as Bigood4000, and was uniquely created with normal software, by myself James Smith. As I purchased commercial rights from Normal to produce my unique and original video with this software. Commentary is uniquely my own thoughts, feelings, and expressions. Now that I have that out of the way. I do hope your day is going way better than fantastic. And your journey to self-betterment is going way better than fantastic as well. Oh and if you are feeling lonely tonight or today. There are tons of people that are in the comments section you can talk with. Plus I'm here too. And I will be doing another video God willing in the morning. So we can spend some time together. Because no matter what you celebrate or don't celebrate around this time of the year. You see people doing things with their brothers and sisters. With their mothers and fathers. And you feel like you have no one that loves you and no one you can love. And yes. It can make life feel extremely lonely and hard. Because if God got you out of that toxic relationship or marriage, please know he was doing it because he wanted to keep you safe. Because sometimes alone and safe is better than being with someone that is dangerous. And that brings me to the story I just felt compelled to talk about. This woman right here. Maria's life was horribly taken by her husband. This jerk ball right here. Whole pellet. You see him wearing his hospital scrubs. Why? Because he works in a hospital and is a nurse. And his job is to put people asleep before surgery. Here they look like a normal happy couple. But sadly what Hole was trying to do was set Maria up to look depressed and that she took her own life. All the while Hole was living with his new girlfriend while he was married to Maria and they have two children together. You just can't make this stuff up people. But what changed things around in this case? Was for one things didn't add up with the medication that Hole said his wife likely took. Because it wasn't found in her system. However, what was found in Maria's system was hospital grade medications. A cocktail of them that would be used to put someone asleep for several surgeries over. And. And Maria kept a journal about everything that was going on. Likely the narcissistic abuse that was happening to her. Likely the narcissistic abuse that was happening to her. You see. The pattern of the narcissist rarely if ever changes. No matter if you are talking about a husband narcissist. Or a wife narcissist. Or a politician or your next door neighbor. These demons are set up artists. And they like to get you to talk about your problems. So they can use these problems and things you've confessed. Especially if they are in text. Or email or on voicemail. So when they choose to off you. They can say. You were depressed. That they were concerned you were going to off yourself for a long time. And that they begged you to get help. When in reality they were setting the stage. They were setting the stage. And this proves also what we've talked about for years. For years. That narcissists are cheaters. They pour on the charm and they get you into a committed relationship. One that is hard to get out of. And then they let. They let you know that they are cheating on you. And they do this because they like to see you powerlessly have no control and feel like you're stuck. Because I tell people all of the time. If you even think the person you are with is a narcissist or some other variety of cluster B. Even if they are 300 pounds and not attractive. Please know. They are cheating on you. I've talked about before. I had a co-worker that was getting a divorce from his wife. And he swore up and down cheating wasn't an issue. And I've seen her. Before. She was darn near 500 pounds and her clothes were dirty. She looked totally gross. But later on he discovered and uncovered she was cheating on him for years with several men. So I tell both men and women alike. If you are with someone right now that you think is a narcissist or a type in that category. Please know they are cheating on you right now. 
even if you think it's impossible. And I say that because many say well if they were cheating. I would leave. Well. They are. They are. But this guy. This guy set her up like the movie The Gaslight it seems. And got her to lose herself in his abuse. But thankfully she journaled down what was really happening. But sadly she didn't leave. And I get it. I understand. The brainwashing is so so tough with these narcissists. They can make you feel like you are paralyzed and you can't move. And this guy would have gotten off thinking he was cool. That he has a new girlfriend and ended the life of the mother of his children. But Maria's journal testified on her own. Behalf. But this also is something we should learn from. Many of us have stories of the narcissist we were with that either tried to poison us or did poison us and we survived. I remember my ex Susie preparing something for me to drink that I felt completely uneasy about. And I made sure I didn't touch the drink or the container the drink was made in. Because I had a feeling she was up to something evil. And she really wanted me to have this drink. You see. Some so-called experts might say. Narcissists rarely kill. And I think that is completely false. It's that they do it in such a way. That the victim once again takes the blame. Even for their own deletion. It's sick. You become a scapegoat for everything. And for some they even become a scapegoat for their own end on this earth. An end an evil narcissist made happen. So please no narcissists are more dangerous than they are given credit for. And it seems this poison thing is happening and happening and happening. And I bet it happened all of the time. Years ago. It's just now they are able to catch the evil doers a lot easier. It makes you think. Think of the instances where something like this happened. And it was blamed on the victim. We often hear stories about this public figure going out in such a way. And it's blamed on that public figure. But is it possible someone actually took them out and made it look like something else? Cases like this make such things look less like conspiracy theories and more like great possibilities. Something to think about. Well that's all I have for now. I do hope your day is blessed. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.